How's everybody doing today? This is L.A. Kendrick. All right, I'm out here with the fitness tip of the day. The thing about it, if you got goals, how you gonna meet them? If you use excuses to stop you from achieving those goals. I'm running in place now, and it's cold out here, but I'm not gonna let that stop me. I will never let it stop me. My job, my job, as I get older, is to invest in my health, right? My health is my job. If you can't get inside of a gym, especially during times like this, then what are you gonna do? Are you gonna make an excuse to not train? What are you gonna do, right? Are you gonna stay in? What are you gonna do? Because it takes a lot of motivation to get out here and do it, all right? You have to have things that push you and motivate you. And cardiac arrest and disease is no one killer in our country. What are you gonna do to stop it? It's not easy. Sometimes you got aches, you got pains. You gotta work around it in order to make sure that you stay successful in what you're trying to do. Again, it's not always easy. It's not supposed to be. You're supposed to be uncomfortable. So if you gotta get it online, you gotta go out and do it in, in weather sometimes it's cold, or uncomfortable or too hot, hey, what are you gonna do? What's the alternative? Fall off your game? Get caught up in this thing that's taking out most of the people in this country? 800,000 people a year? There's nothing that even comes close to killing Americans like that. Nothing. Are you part of that group? Or are you not part of that group? Which one are you gonna be? Because they only, heart attack, strokes, diabetes, things like that, those are the things that take you out. And they wait on willing victims. Are you a willing victim? What are you willing to do to change it? You're gonna keep making excuses? Or are you gonna get up there and get it done? Again, this ain't easy. But I refuse to let anything stop me from being as healthy as I can possibly be. So if I do transition to the next life, you know what I've done? I've given it my best shot while I was here. Not to go out, right? Not to die from something that I could prevent. This stuff is serious, but uh, nobody seems to take it serious. Think about this. You can Google it yourself. On the, on the lines of COVID, 75% of people who pass on from COVID have pre-existing conditions. They call it comorbidities. 75% of those people that pass on have comorbidities. Pre-existing condition, diabetes, hypertension, heart attacks, depression, stress. Those are the things that contribute. And how do you beat it? How do you stop it? How do you stop being a candidate for that situation? You get out and you make it happen. It's not easy and it's not supposed to be. When have you ever had anything worthwhile in this life? Easy. That's worth anything. I'll wait. But in the meantime, while I'm waiting on that, I'm going to continue this job and continue this run. You get your training, you train your body wherever you can get it. If it's in a closet, you get it done. Stop making excuses, right? Obesity, hypertension, stress, depression, fear, anxiety, those things take you out. Are you going to be part of the problem? that's plaguing our country are part of the thinking solution and pass it on to the next generation. I'm not gonna let anything stop me from being active and fit. I'm not gonna let something take me out that I know for a fact. If I put the time in, take care of myself, when I do meet my maker, I can say, hey, I tried while I was here, while I was down there. This has been LA Kendrick with the fitness tip of the day. Hashtag stop heart attacks. Hashtag stop strokes. Hashtag never let your ex catch you looking a mess. And hashtag get it where you can get it. And stop with the excuses. Till next time. Think about what I just said. And y'all be fitting it safe.